Hi, my name is Rebecca Hall, and I would like to explore diversity issues, um, more specifically how the media portrayal of minorities affects um, diversity issues in America. Um, the first study that I used is called Information Literacy in Libraries in the Age of Fake News by Denise E. Agosto. This study um, is about fake news and it gives insight on how fake news is spread fast and easily. Um, this study is very important because um, people do not know what to believe and what not to believe in terms of, you know, when it comes to getting their news and information from the media. Two key terms that came from this study is misinformation and disinformation. Misinformation um, is you not doing your research before you spread information or any news and you're you're uncertain about it but you know you still spread it that's misinformation disinformation is you know it's false you know it's not true but you're still going to spread it anyway because um you want their character to be harmed um it's important to know the difference between both of these terms because you know you you want to know the person's intentions when spreading fake news and false information yeah it's very important um the second study that i used is called one second um ethnic minorities in the media changing culture boundaries by simon Cotal, which is about stereotypes and how people believing these stereotypes are affecting uh, minorities on a basis on a daily basis um people don't realize the harm that it does it's more than just oh saying a lie about them it's, it goes deeper than that um and some people or some companies don't even know when they are being you know racist and you know feeding into the stereotypes and spreading the stereotypes i should say um you see we see um well i know i see some advertise advertisement that has to be pulled down because of the backlash that is done because they didn't do their research beforehand which Again, it's very important to know, you know, when um, companies are being disrespectful and they are spreading stereotypes. Um, it, again, it's, this information is very important when going into this um, field so that um, you want, you won't, um, intentionally disrespect someone and or you won't sit back and watch others disrespect a certain race or anyone in general um the author gave examples about gave examples of you know what is done nowadays that is considered the new racism um in terms of you know speaking on races certain races um i know one example that is used is companies um news companies have to set their headlines i believe a certain way so that no one is bashed um which is helpful um i don't i'm not sure if they follow this or not but i know that that is said that their headlines have to be a certain way um the third study that i used um is called crime and racial construction 
Cultural Misinformation About African Americans in Media and Academia by Jeanette Covington. This study um, is about how African Americans are misrepresented in the media and have been since back in civil back with the civil rights movement um, when African American actors were taking roles that belittle belittled them and the race and the culture and made the white entertainers look and seem more superior. Um this study is important because it does give a lot a lot of you know background on cultural misrepresentation um it talk it spoke about it gave excuse me it spoke about like move in popular movies that like for example menace to society which is my favorite um around that time that that movie came out it will african americans were protesting um racial injust injustice which this movie menace society was supposed to be like a response to it however it did nothing but discredit the protesting which was very sad and unfortunate um it speaks on how um, I, I believe this study also gave an example uh, of TV shows like the Cosby, Bill Cosby, the show, the Cosby show, um, which represented African-American families well. So I like this study a lot. It gives a lot of backgrounds and good, you know, examples and, you know, bad, you know, examples of, you know, shows and movies and stuff that misrepresented minorities um but yes that is all in my presentation and thank you for watching